back students today i would like to continue from our last class that is we are dealing with chapter 7 triangle exercise 7.1 so today we'll be solving one question that is question number six from exercise 7.1 the question is prove that the medians of an equilateral triangle are equal so first of all you need to understand what is an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means likewise i explained in class many times but i'll explain it again equilateral triangle means a triangle where all the three sides of a triangle are equal understand so in a geometry the first and the most important is figures or diagram so let's draw the figure according to the question they give us a triangle there is equilateral triangle we are having an equilateral triangle a b c and the question state that the medians medians means there is more than one median so the first median is a d second one is b e and third one is c f so the first and the most important steps of geometry is figure let's get down to the next step there is solution and the first step of triangle is given given means anything that is given in the equation we have to write down understand so let's write down the given in an equilateral triangle what is the equilateral triangle there is a b c and a d b e and c f are the medians so in given we are writing everything that is given in the equation we didn't take anything from anywhere else and the second step is to prove what do we need to prove let's see the question prove that the medians what are the medians the medians are a d b e and c f so the question asks us to prove that prove that the medians are equal okay so a d equal to b e equal to c f this is to prove and next step is there is no construction so we'll go directly to proof so in proof we have to compare the triangles if you see a triangle abc because of the median ad triangle abc is divided into two triangles the first triangle is adb and second one is adc so we have to compare these two triangles in triangle abd and triangle acd ab equal to ac this is given ab equal to ac this is given why because abc is an equilateral triangle so the sides are obviously same and the next one is ad equal to ad this is common if you look at triangle adb and triangle scd ad is common for both the triangles so i'm writing ad equal to ad common and last one is bd equal to cd why because in triangle abc bc is divided into two equal parts from the median ad so bd equal to cd these two parts are equal so now we can use by s s s side 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 congruent theorem triangle a b d is congruent to triangle a c d implies angle a b c is equal to angle a c b a b equal to a c let me draw down the figure here again so there should not be any confusion for all of us a b c d e f now if you look at the triangle there is also two triangle okay the first triangle is e b c and second one is f c b so we have to compare these two triangle now in triangle e b c and triangle f c b angle e b c is equal to angle f c b we are using before theorem understand therefore triangle e b c is congruent to triangle f c b implies b e equal to c f similarly a d equal to b e a d equal to b e because both are median therefore a d a d we do from here next is equal to b e b we do from here and next is b e b equal to c f so we can write down c f b equal to c f so now we have already find to prove therefore a d equal to 
BE equal to CF that means all the medians of triangle ABCR all equal hence proof so today I'll be solving only this much question number six and now I'll give you your home assignment please look at your home assignment I'll read out the question once proof that the given triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle before what I'm solving is an equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle means three sides are equal but in this case for your home assignment you have to solve that the given triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle meaning that isosceles triangle means two sides are equal so I hope you understand the question is a bit similar to each other I hope you can do so please write down your home assignment as soon as possible and submit when it is asked thank you all I'll see you again in next class